Hi guys, oh my god, here we go again. And it seems that Nigel Farage, whenever he says jump, the Tories say how high. The de facto leader of Reform UK pretends here not to understand the difference between the EU and the Council of Europe, which is responsible for the European Convention on Human Rights. This is in an interview he gave to The Telegraph that he later uploaded himself to Twitter. He's calling for a referendum on the ECHR, and considering most people don't understand it, it all sounds a bit like Brexit again. Farage and his simple solutions to complex problems, which somebody else implements, and he blames them for not doing it right. Have a listen to this. A referendum that would be useful would be a referendum on the ECHR, and whether we should continue to allow a court in Strasbourg to overrule mm. it. Now, yeah, I think, Did uh, the Brexiteers miss a trick on that? No, Should that have deliberately, been deliberately, yes. deliberately. To keep the left of, of the course, Tory party on side. Of course, yeah. I urge them again and again, include ECHR in this when yeah. it comes to the Brexit negotiation. Nothing to do with Brexit. It has nothing to do with Brexit. Jesus. Now he's relying on the ignorance of the public. They see the word Europe in it and they presume, well, it must be part of the European Union. It must be something to do with Brussels. These are the same people who told the public we need to leave the European Union in order to take back control of our borders. Now he's saying we need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights to take back control of our borders. And unfortunately, people are listening to him and people are believing this charlatan once again. This is the guy, remember, he told people we need to leave the EU in order to take back control. Now that control has not been taken back, it's not his fault. It's the Tories because they didn't believe in Brexit enough. Rishi Sunak doesn't really believe in Brexit, even though he campaigned for it. Boris Johnson didn't really believe in Brexit, even though Nigel Farage was willing to help him win an 80-seat majority. These charlatans, once again, trying to convince people to vote against their own interests. We need to leave the European Union to take back control, to, to grow the economy, to reduce um, the price of food and footwear and stuff like this. And what has happened instead? Brexit is, dri Brexit is part of the inflation drive. There are barriers to trade. British people have lost freedoms, the freedom of movement, other freedoms as well. This has damaged the UK economy. It has damaged Britain on the world stage. And you have these charlatans once again saying, we need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights in order to take back control. Like, if this doesn't work, then what? We need to leave Earth. We need to leave planet Earth in order to take back control. Boris was never going to do that. Mm. No interest to him. I think if you have a referendum, the question must be very specific. That's why a referendum on immigration is so difficult to do. Um, but I think a referendum on ECHR, I'd love a referendum on the House of Lords. OK, I don't care about that. Look, he's interested in a referendum with a very simple yes or no. And this is what he would rely on. And this is what many uh, Brexiteers and people within the Conservative Party would rely on. Well, we'll just leave the European Convention on Human Rights. This will stop the boats. This will reduce immigration. Let's ignore the fact that it's about protecting the rights of British people. You won't hear Farage talking about that, of course. You won't talk about the reality of leaving the Convention. And of course, what about the Good Friday Agreement? Once again, there are very few journalists asking politicians about this. Why are they not talking about the Good Friday Agreement? Why is Farage, every time he brings up the issue of the European Convention on Human Rights, there's no mention of the Good Friday Agreement and the Human Rights Act? Why is that, ha why is that the case? And other Tory MPs and government ministers, whenever they bring up the issue of the European Convention, we need to consider leaving it or we need to leave it. No mention of the Good Friday Agreement. Now, I don't think the UK is going to leave because they've been talking about this since 2012 and even before. So I think it's just smoke and mirrors. It's just a bit of red meat to the base. But we saw with Brexit what red meat to the base can actually result in. You know, back in 2015, 2014, the idea of the UK leaving the European Union was absurd. But as we got closer to a date for the referendum, it became less absurd and more rhetoric was pumped into this discussion the likes of Farage saying well you know everything will be wonderful when we leave Daniel Hanan saying don't worry nobody's talking about leaving the single market so the lies upon lies were piled upon the rhetoric 
And then the public were convinced, well, you know, leaving the European Union is either not really going to have any impact on Britain or it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Because the people selling it were never going to be harmed by it. Farage isn't living under a, under a bridge. Daniel Hanan is now a member of the House of Lords. So the people who were selling it as a wonderful solution to all problems, a simple solution to all problems, they would never actually suffer the consequences of it. I'm not sure about Farage. He probably has uh, an EU passport. So he's okay. He can travel around Europe without any problems. But ordinary people, small business owners, they're the ones who are suffering the consequences. And when it comes to leaving the European Convention on Human Rights, well, Northern Ireland is going to be put in a difficult spot and British people are going to lose a protection for their rights. But I'm afraid, you know, while it seems absurd today, if there's a call for a referendum, if there's a date set by the Conservatives, then it will become less absurd as we get closer to that date. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.